accepted, which are payments to a senior referee figure in Spain from 2001 until 2018 of 7.7 million pounds or euros. And they're stating that was for like education to the players on how referees work. I'd love that job. That's an amazing pay. But the accusations now are that they were actually paying this ref to ensure that Barcelona were getting favorable decisions during that time. Like, first of all, like, what, what's your thoughts on that, boys? Speaking Let's Steve that. go first on this one because I'm, I'm, I'm going to go a lot I'll, deeper. I'll, 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 I'll be honest. I ain't got a clue. I don't know the ins and outs. There's no point in us coming on here and speculating about what's going to happen to Barcelona because people have been speculating, and that's the word speculating, for 12 months now about what's going to happen to Man City. Nobody's got any evidence. We're just football fans that talk on YouTube. I haven't seen the evidence. Nobody's seen the evidence. So for me to come on here and say, oh, this, this and that, I'd just be a hypocrite because people do that to my club all the time. And I say to them, listen, are you a solicitor? Because if you are, show me the evidence because I want to see it. But So I ain't going to come on here and say Barcelona. All I can say is if if, if, if they're found guilty of what that, that looks like, then they're going to be in trouble. And, and that's the same with with any football club. Yeah. But it's, it's listen, it, these newspapers and that, P, rival clubs, especially Real Madrid and Barcelona, got a lot of control in the media. So Real Madrid will be up to something here. They'll be involved in this somewhere, getting these stories out, million percent. And then don't expect enough story not to break about Real Madrid, because that will happen. And as you see now in England, Chelsea, oh, they've been fined 10 mil because they didn't quite comply. Man United have been fined. They didn't comply. A couple of other clubs are, are struggling to comply. So, I mean, it's very easy these days to fall into a trap where we all talk about the, the guilty straight away because that's not what we're here. We don't know the facts. It's wrong for us to do it. We, people did it with Mason Greenwood. People did it with uh, Benjamin Mende. You know what I mean? Things like that. It's like a witch hunt, in it? But listen, it is what it is. I mean, I like to talk football. I don't know anything about Barcelona. I've seen it today. And if they're guilty of what they said, they're in serious, serious trouble. I don't see... If they've paid that amount of money, I can't see how that can be hidden. You know what I mean? So that's going to definitely come out. Um, but we've seen it with Spanish clubs before. Money being written off. Training gowns being sold off for for massive amounts that ain't worth that just to get them out of financial holes and that. Mm -hmm. And then their president's throwing stones at the Premier League, like the Premier League is uh, is, the, is the big bad league in the world just because they can't compete. So I think it's a lot of mind games at the top and um, I don't yeah. know, I'll be interested to see how it goes. I, I understand that. What I would say is a little different about this situation is that they're going to like national courts and they've been charged. And as far as I'm aware, through reading the articles today, uh, like in most court cases you only get charged when the prosecution has evidence of wrongdoing now you get your day in court to defend yourself so it's very interesting but i get where you're coming from none of us because it hasn't come out in court yet no means announced we haven't seen the defense sam i asked this i put this out on twitter today because i think this is a football element that i think is what really impacts us pep guardiola 15 years as the manager 12 of those seasons are now currently under scrutiny in some way, shape, or form. Not due to him. There's no accusation that Pep Guardiola himself has broken any rules, committed bribery, any corruption, any max fiction, financial doping. And I want to make that very, very clear. But if Barcelona are found guilty of match fixing, etc., over the last two decades, if City were also to be found guilty of financial doping, even in the early days to build this foundation, do you think this damages Pep Guardiola's legacy in terms of the 29 trophies, the trebles, the three peats that he has won What in those 12 or 15 years as a manager. Do you think it damages his legacy at all if there's a guilty verdict for either of these teams? I mean, uh, uh, with this beard I currently have, I'm looking like, you know, the Arab Fidel Castro, so I have to speak for the people currently. Um, so for the people of football, um, this is this is madness first of all first and foremost this is crazy from the barcelona thing the whole match fixing um, fixing scandal we saw what happened with the uv as well they got their title stripped to them they got relegated to the second division it, it happened um you know when i was i was quite young when it happened i was about 10 11 years old and juventus got relegated to the Serie b 
Um, you know, that title was stripped to them. So when it comes to, to, to stuff like that, these things have happened in football before. And it's happened globally across the sport. It's not, it's not something that's, you know, a, a, like a, a one-off. This, these things do happen in football. Now, as when it comes to, to, to Pep's legacy, I think definitely it affects Pep's legacy, even though he wasn't involved in it personally. Um, he still was the manager of said team who, who you know, who were involved in, in these things. So, of course, it affects him 100%. And the reality is, look, with the City situation, with the Barcelona situation, I mean, with Bayern Munich, like, us three could manage Bayern and we'd still win the league. We saw it last season. Like what happened, they changed manager mid-season and still ended up winning that league. So that league has been a joke since Klopp left it. So for me, like, I'm not shocked whatsoever that you, you do well in Germany. But when it comes to, to, to Manchester City, when it comes to Barcelona, those are two different topics. I mean, we remember there is no, I, I'm not going to, you know, start a controversy, but we all. He didn't know it was gone. Now Barcelona just shut him down because he's talking shit. <laughs> but, uh... I, I, I'm intrigued to know what it is he's gonna uh, what he's gonna say here. Um, but I don't know where it's gone. It looks like his internet has completely crashed there, and, and he and he's gone. In, <laughs> pay your bills, John says here. Look, I, I think it's an interesting one for me because he says some so people... maybe so. When it if if they found guilty, does it do this? If they found guilty, but what happens if they found not guilty? And what happens if Man City are found not guilty? Then he's he's pest that Pep Guardiola, right? <clears throat> he's got no control over accountancy at Barcelona. So if someone I, in the in the yeah. Barcelona boardroom has paid someone seven million, how how does he know that? Do you know what I mean? He doesn't doesn't know that. So at the end yeah. of the day, he's got to go in work every day at eight a.m. Get up, coach the team, get them ready, go home, think about the team, coach, make decisions, look after players, do this, go on the pitch. Play eleven v eleven, do that. He's done his job. He's done his job. So if the club is found mm. guilty, then the club takes it on the chin. The club takes it on the chin. Mm. Because if you're blaming Pep Guardiola and going to tarnish his legacy, surely that's Lionel Messi's legacy finished as well, is it? But I, but mate, I agree. I, listen, Lionel Me Lionel Messi has done more than just. Well, he hasn't done much outside of Barcelona. But World Cup, yes, did nothing at PSG, and of course. Um, he didn't do too much. I mean, just to, but let's put everybody back where they were before the internet went down. We'll come. I'll come back to your question in a minute. I want to go back to what Sam was saying. Then, then, then we'll jump yeah, in. Yeah, can I he, just carry on? Sorry, can you guys see yeah, me? On, and hear me properly? Yeah. Go for so, it. so uh, with the, we all remember the infamous Barcelona Chelsea game as well in 08 or 09, You know where it was like the infamous Drogba clip of you know it's a disgrace. And with the City thing, look, we all know. Even when me and Steve had the conversation last time, as soon as he admitted City hit the jackpot, that's it. I won the debate. So for me. I look at this 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 situation. How did, we all how, know did you, how did you win the debate? Because City won the jackpot. You, all, came all, on talking, all. you came on talking about Steve, Man City. Let's not, let's not open up that debate again. No, listen, listen, just, listen. Every the neutral 12, that does old virgin, City thought I won the debate. 12-year-old virgins in the bedroom who don't know anything about football will always side with an idiot. That happens in villages. You know, and you see the village idiot. Everyone yeah, feels but what sorry does that have to do with Man City? Because you're Nothing. an idiot. So at the end of the day, if you want to go on and talk shit, I'm then so the people that talk to do shit that much, will insulting. always be drawn to the village idiot, isn't it? So at the end yes, of the day, I'm it's so natural. I'm so happy you've insulted me personally. That doesn't it's change natural. the fact that your club it's is natural. built Listen, on money. You come out with, re, come out with, no, come no out with nonsense. History, no no history, no foundation, no nothing. It's just built on Come out with nonsense. You get it could have been Spurs. It could have been Newcastle. It could have been Everton. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was us. Why do you think three quarters of the league want you to win the league? Why it do you think us. everyone wants you to win the league? It was us. Why do you we think everyone wants you to win the league? Because it doesn't matter. We won the treble. The next day, we don't give we a fuck. So, let me let me just carry on. Anyway, when it comes to 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 Pep Guard, I'll never insult Steve personally, you know. But you can hey, insult me all you want. I don't care. So 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 when it comes, it's it's not my fault. It's not my fault. I'm not Sheikh Mansour. You know, you don't have to be mad at me. So when it comes to 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 Manchester City and and what Pep Guardiola has done over there, I mean, look, they have built something uh, around Pep Guardiola. Like we've already given City credit many, many a times for being well run and the decisions that they've made around Pep, because not all signings have been expensive, but they have spent the second most or the, the most money in the league, I believe, in the in the last uh, ten years. I think alongside Man United, it is. I think it's either one and two, like whichever. So they have spent a whole lot of money. And uh, look, when it comes to Pep Guardiola, we already know how how City spent money at the start we already know how they built their foundation 
to get to the levels of the Uniteds and the Liverpools and the Arsenals and etc. The start was the problem. So, um, you know, you can claim sustainability now, but if you started based on fraudulence, then it doesn't matter. Your foundation you got is... evidence for that. Yeah, you got evidence for that. Yes. You can't. My, Where's my, the evidence? My intellect. Well, my you common go, you, sense. You, you've just shown your intellect. Learning. You've just shown your intellect because these people out there who've been in courtrooms and not seen the evidence, but you, for some, has got evidence. Yes, yes, of course. We all we all okay. have evidence. Are you sure, the it's money is spent the sure it's not salt because your greatest ever Liverpool team will always be remembered uh, to finish yeah, second to Pep Guardiola. He loves deflecting. Like... He'd make it about Liverpool again. Hold on, oh, so what hold do you want to talk about Liverpool? Hold on a minute. I'm not allowed Go to on. talk about your team, but you can talk about my team. Is that what we're saying? No, but you see, this is your problem. You're insulting me. You're making it a me versus you thing when we're just talking about City. Just, just respond when it comes to my like you. So at Liverpool the start, the Robinho, the Joe, the Benjani, when you were spending money back then, you're going to yeah. act like that was how much money City made? Was that no, City's wasn't. yearly well, revenue? Time, FFP wasn't around then, mate. So we could spend it, what we want. Exactly. So what did I say? So you've right. just proven so my point. When you buy a business, if you buy a business and you're 8th, ninth in the league and you want to get to the top, you've got to spend money, mate, because we were a shit show. Okay. So, so we agree then. So your foundation was what? Built on money. So why are you angry then? Everybody's foundation is built on money. Anyone that wants to get no, to the no, top no, is built on not. money. No, it's not. No, it's not. All right. It's, it's but not you just sound you sound a bit jealous and a bit a bit a bit you know salty because you know your jealous. greatest Liverpool team will always be remembered to come in second to this Man City My team. My greatest so Liverpool team done more than your greatest City team. I oh, don't did know they? Why? What did about. you do? What did you do? What did you? We dominated team Europe do? and England, late seventies, right. early eighties. You weren't even born, you clown. What are you talking about? Then you say greatest Liverpool team? Yeah, that you've seen. That you've yeah, seen. So Let's talk about what we've seen with our eyes. I have to see it in order you for it to be the greatest oh, Liverpool God, team. Can we start talking about the 1903 team that won the FA Cup 64 yeah, years before you? you talk about it. I don't mind. No, because That's I'm not that sad. This is what I'm saying. This is the level yeah, of conversation you talk about we're bringing to. Your history. I'm a real football fan, mate. I watch it with my eyes. I go home, away. I don't talk about things that happen when I wasn't born about. I don't bring that shit up. I'll talk a about mailbox now. doesn't print money. Steve. You want to, you want to talk about Manchester reality. City now? I'm talking about it. But then when you mention Liverpool, you're not allowed to talk about Liverpool. It's all, you know what I mean? I it's never jarring. said you're not allowed to talk jarring. about Liverpool. I never said that. I never said you're not. Jarring. First of all, let, let, let's get something straight here. You're the one that's insulting me. I haven't said a bad, single bad word to you right now. And my time, you want about my time is a lot care. worse people than yours. Like you so five people like you every day. My inbox. That's number one. People like you are in my inbox every day. Number two, this this, People this, like you, clowns. This Terry started the show by asking about Man City. If Terry started by talking about Liverpool and Spurs, and he asked you, I'm not going to go like, so when it comes to Manchester City, yeah, but the topic City and Pep and the corruption. So what the fuck do you want me to talk about? Tottenham Hotspur? Like, what am I supposed because to talk you're about? you're talking about Manchester City. I'm answering the question. Guilty. I You've got no told. evidence. You've got no evidence. Okay. You literally agreed with what I said. So I don't understand the problem here. When you were first bought, when you were first bought, did you not spend the shitload of money to get to the top? Yeah, but it was you allowed did, right? because you, you was allowed to because there was no FFP. I understand that, Steve, but that's not the point. But did you spend that oh, money? Right. Did you spend it? So what's your point then? Okay, so you spent the money. And then when FFP was in place, you continued spending money at that level. But And now, like, for example, just recently, the COVID season, when COVID happened, City apparently made more revenues than Barcelona, than Real Madrid, than Manchester United around the globe. And I'm supposed to believe that that's not fishy, that that's not crazy. Like, I have every right to think that Man City's is, is the money is, is insane. You can because believe what you want, but Man you United, it, it, it's all pie in the sky, isn't it? Okay, let me just say something. Man United, Man United have been above and beyond commercially every single Premier League club for the last 30 years. Because they started this before anyone else. So they started to globalize their brand before anyone else. When it comes to Manchester United, Manchester United has made less revenue than Manchester City. Yeah. Global revenue, commercial revenue, which yeah. it just doesn't, it doesn't like. The, the does, clubs that are supposed to make you know, you more money than Man United are Barcelona, are Real Madrid. You know, Liverpool on a good year, like if we get to the final of the Champions League or something. But when it comes to City, City are not making them global revenues. And we saw it this summer when you went to Japan. There were five people in the stadium. And I'm supposed wow. to believe you made more commercial revenue. Tere, on, Tere, Tere, listen, I'm all for talking, right, to anyone. But he's a knobhead. And that's it. Simple as that. You're a clown. 
If you show me a video now where there's five people in the stadium and I'll show you one when there was 50, 60,000, don't try and troll me, mate. I go week in, week out. I know my football club. You can sit there and make shit up all you want. I said but Japan. I'm telling you, listen, that you, listen, you can make shit up all you want. But I've got I better things Japan. to do with the time and listen to you I'm talking, talking shit, about mate. The Etihad. I said Japan. Yeah, and I said, yeah, you did it. You didn't at all because I work for City when on the live streams in Tokyo, mate. I work for them. I was live mm. in the stadium in the studio and it was 60, 70,000 there. So don't talk shit to me because mm. I, I seen it with my own eyes. That is why I call it out. If you've got a valid fact, then I'll listen to it. If you've got a good point and evidence, then I'll listen to it. But don't well, make things up to it. the comments because the comments are saying, go and cook him, Sam. You're just telling lies, mate. I'm not interested I'm not in lying. I'm not reading the comments. Talk, talk, talk. I'm not reading Let me just jump in a second because I want to I go back to the original question, which was around... If these things are to be true, what could this do to Pep Guardiola? And Steve and I, obviously, we're, we're talking about when your internet went down. And look, again, if they're, both clubs are proven to be innocent and there's no wrongdoing, then they're innocent and there's nothing to, to talk about. I feel a bit sorry for Pep in this scenario. I feel a bit sorry for him that both clubs have clearly been doing something that has got, whether it be journalists, whether it be the police in Barcelona's case, of course, they're, you know, they're, they're FAs, UEFA, all involved in looking at them. It's it's a shame for him because if the if either club are found guilty, it will damage his legacy. And I've seen people in the in the comments. And there was a super chat that came through here that said, um, "You can't strip fans of their memories." Pep's a goat. I hear that, and I'm not sitting here and saying you 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 shouldn't remember those great days. But from Pep's point of view, if we just remove City because City fans will be emotive about it, if he finds out that in the the the, the La Ligas he won, just think about Pep, who I think is an honourable man. If he finds out, like with the rest of us, that they were paying referees to ensure they won games, Pep will hand these medals back. Pep won't want medals that he didn't deserve exactly. to win. And what about I Messi? Think, what about Messi? No, I agree. Listen, if, if it turns out Barca have done this, the Messi-Ronaldo debate, debate takes an almighty turn in another direction because I went and looked earlier because I just went to look at this and I went to, because I just I thought this was such an interesting case. And I wrote the numbers down here. Barcelona beat Real Madrid in that time period. So one, two, three, six, seven, eight. They beat them to eight La Ligas, which Messi was part of. Now, I'm not saying they didn't deserve to win any of those eight, but if there's a few of them that are really close and you have to go back and look at them, there's loads of ramifications. And this is why I said when your allegations came out, a group of people I feel sorry for in this are Man City fans. Although you never take those don't memories. Don't have to feel sorry for us. Don't have to feel sorry for us. When well, the evidence is out, the days in court, you know, I hear you. Right. What I'm, feel what I'm sorry for the people is. who are clinging on now to the hope and praying to God every day that Man City are found guilty. They're the ones well, you want to be feeling well, sorry for because if it comes out they're not guilty, yeah, then it really shows that. how bad their teams really are and how well, good I, Manchester I understand City that, is. but for me, I, I tell you this: I'm not hoping City are guilty any more than I'm hope, hoping that they're innocent. That the Man United fan in me is that the football person in me wants the truth to come out. The football person in me wants to know if we're all on a level playing field. Now, we can argue to the cows come home whether FFP is a good or a bad rule. At the end of the day, all of our clubs every season sign an agreement to say we'll comply with those rules. If you then go and break them, you, your excuse can't be, well, I think it's a shit rule. The same with Barcelona. If they're innocent, fair play to them. I'm not going to call them cheats when they're not. At the same time, though, and look, I've said this before, all their success domestically has led also led to their European success. All the wins, all the all the La Ligas mean bigger sponsorship deals, which means more money, which means they build better teams that can that have beaten my club twice to a Champions League, beaten Arsenal once, beaten Juve once. And I just want as a fan answers. And my biggest fear is of corruption. If the corruption exists, is the corruption at a higher level where these things are going to be brushed under a table because I want there to be a level playing field. City are an impeccably well-run football club. I always praise them. I never call Pep Guardiola a checkbook manager or anything along those lines because I think it's disrespectful. At the same time, I think every City fan, every Barca fan, and everyone who backs Messi and Pep and everybody else should want to know whether they have won those trophies, had that success based on honest hard work, or whether their club behind the scenes have been breaking rules, financially doping, paying referees off, match fixing. Surely everybody should just want the truth. And I hear you, Steve. Some people say 100% you're guilty without knowing. And nobody knows that yet. But for me, I worry about... The reason I worry about it is if we take City and Barca out of it, look what we've witnessed Pep Guardiola do. Me as a football fan, I would still feel cheated if suddenly that was all marred by cheating. It's the same as when you might have an athlete. That, imagine if it turned out Usain Bolt 
was on drugs the whole time. Even though I'm not Jamaican, I'd still feel disappointed because I was like, I love watching that guy. 